I'm going to, I know, I'll edit Stop. out the beginning. No, I'm, I was going to say, I'll edit out the beginning. Okay. I'm just going to pause and okay. start, because okay. I'll edit out the beginning. Okay, perfect. Okay? We're here with uh, Karen Greggett, and the location is Waitsburg, Washington, a quaint little town, which Karen calls a mix between Mayberry and Norman Rockwell. Right. Uh, Karen's shop is uh, Bubbles and Chocolates, The Finer Things. And this afternoon, Karen's going to give us a little lowdown, a little tour of what she's got here. And it's an inter interesting mix when you say bubbles and, and chocolate. Not typically what you would think of as no, a match. No, but who doesn't like champagne and chocolate, right? I mean, it's like the perfect mix. So right. that's kind of where the concept came from. Right. Beautiful things that people like. And this is a fairly new location for you? You just started this up? One month. Month, okay. One month. And, and what's, the, what's the, uh, the master plan for you here? What, what, you know, what are you trying to do with this shop? Well, I wanted to kind of um, try it out and see if I enjoyed it as much as I thought I would. Okay. I do so far, which right. is great. And I wanted to have uh, sort of a, another way to connect to Waitsburg and to the mm -hmm. people that live here. Mm -hmm. Not just the, the folks that visit, but also the folks that have been here for generations. It's an old town and a lot of families here, and it's great to have another way to kind of interact with people. You know, looking throughout the shop, you've really covered a wide range of, of both uh, bubbles and chocolates. Mm -hmm. For example, I'm looking at the shelf down below, and I see some things that look like little purses. Can you pull one of those yeah, out and tell us about what, are, what is that right there? Well, like this is uh, from a chef down in uh, Los Angeles who right. has little tiny paper handbags okay. and then fills them with exquisite little chocolate truffles. And I have three different kinds that I originally bought a collection of them for bridesmaids gifts for a local wedding and mm -hmm. then I have a few left so I'm selling them in the shop. Right. And they're like coffee and dark chocolate or sea salt and dark chocolate and there's a crispy caramel and milk chocolate. Right, and I think I see some truffles down there as well. Right, the truffles are actually, uh, these were made by Valerie, the pastry chef down at the Wolf Apollo Cafe, one of the mm -hmm. restaurants in town. Right, right, who, right, right, right down the street here. Yeah, it was yeah. originally from Seattle, part of the Peter Lewis Campagna family, and so mm -hmm. she's an exquisite pastry chef. And she made these for me out of these two um, dessert wines, a okay. framboise and an ice wine, mm -hmm. and they're Verona chocolates with uh, flavored with these two ice wines. Okay. So I have different shapes. And, and eventually you'll do some tastings here in the shop. I will, yes. I, have, I just got my uh, refrigeration in the back and I'm mm -hmm. going to have little uh, champagne flutes, little plastic ones that are going to stand up so people can taste dessert wines or sparkling wines and see the bubbles. Okay. Uh, see the bubbles, you know, it's important. Right. Okay. And uh, I have the chocolate shop wines, of course. I have to have the chocolate shop wines. Right. And we have some, you know, other... Moscatos, cavas, proseccos, anything that's beautiful, sparkling. I didn't really intend it to be such a feminine shop, but it is very <laughs> feminine, actually. It is, yes, yes. But uh, a lot of men come in here if they're saying they're sorry, or I love right. you, or, or Valentine's yes, Day, or whatever. And actually, this lady right here inspired the whole store. As you can see her oh, yellow dress, right, and her uh, black hat, and very elegant. And a man is holding a champagne glass, actually. And that's an original. Um, I think that was for Dior, actually, originally, Christian Dior fashion back in the 40s. And right. I just, I love the colors and not your typical chocolate shop with brown and pink. It's all gray and champagne yellow and gold and silver and black and white. Okay, all right. And yeah. I should say, if we see a little doggy scampering around, that's your loyal assistant, Cookie, that's yes, also... Yes, that's Miss Cookie, who's in, the... In the uh, store. Can, can I have you come out from behind the shelf sure. a little bit? And just take us a little bit through some, some of what you have. Yeah, what do you have here? Well, we have... Uh, some of the highlights, perhaps. Throughout, throughout the shop, what I've done conceptually with the chocolates is I did a lot of research, and I called all over the U.S. and Europe, but for now, starting with the U.S., mm -hmm. for chefs that made very small batch chocolates and somewhat well-respected and, I mean, completely well-respected, and somewhat unusual that okay. you would find maybe in Washington State and certainly not in eastern Washington. Right. So I have... A woman uh, at a company called Cocoa in uh, Atlanta that makes the Love Bar, and she dries her own cherries and citrus peel for her dark chocolates. And then a woman in uh, Los Angeles that does beautiful combinations, strawberries in dark, rose petal with crystallized mint in milk chocolate, and absinthe chocolate mm -hmm. over here. Right. I have an apple pie spice. Uh, I see. From a, a chef in, in Oregon, actually. And that's apple pie uh, plus graham. Right, with graham dagger. And it's right. basically white chocolate, like European white chocolate, dark mm. chocolate, and 
pie spices. It's mm. really good. I have okay. a sample of that one. Okay. And then I have Florentine bars, which are like a chocolate, almost cookie with citrus and apricot, made by a chef in Seattle, along with some dipped fruit in chocolate that I have from her. Right. And um, I have these little boxes that look like Tiffany boxes, mm -hmm. and those are five little... Um, toffee squares that are hand dipped in her dark chocolate and they're like phyllo dough toffee beautiful and pretty as a gift right and then i have a whole table of caramels because i've been just going through caramels like nobody's business <laughs> and these caramels are from a woman in montana that okay. just makes the most perfect balance of buttery sweet not too sweet celtic sea salt caramels and I have a spicy one, an espresso one, a chocolate one. I have handmade marshmallows, mm -hmm. which are here from uh, Vancouver. Right. Vancouver, Canada. Mm -hmm. And there's a strawberry, a raspberry one, a chocolate one, and a coconut one. And this was one of Oprah's big specialty desserts last year. So I had to have right. that. Right, right, exactly. Well. Yeah. And then I do have some European chocolates coming in. Um, the, the dolphin, which you can find in other places, and I have some other bean to bar, as they call it. Right. Uh, this this is from New Jersey, uh, Fruition. Hey, Cookie. Cookie's and, uh, joined us. Yes, Cookie's joined us. And <laughs> Fruition is a, is a, another handcrafted bean to bar, as is the Mast Brothers, which have a shop in New York. And when I called them, they were so like, you're where? I'm like, Washington's wine country. Really? Mm -hmm. Right. Waitsburg. You'll love it. And he says, okay, we'll send you a few. And people know about it. You know? Okay. It's amazing. Could you highlight a little bit the bubbles part of it? I can tell you're very passionate about the chocolate part, I but I know that the bubbles also mean a lot to you. Are there any interesting bubblies that in here that you can show us? Uh, there are. I have, what I've done, and thanks to Paul, actually, my husband, um, who's a wine reviewer, has helped be my sort of sommelier, because mm -hmm. even though I know what I like, I'm not necessarily sure how to find it all the time. But right. I've... I have found things that uh, range in price from, oh, probably $12 up to about $75, and we try to stay in that range. So there are some expensive things, but some things that are really reasonable, especially the uh, Secco, which I love, which is made in Italy mm -hmm. um, and brought in uh, by Kay Vintners here in Walla Walla, which okay. is great. And I have a lot of rosés, which I love just because they're so beautiful and feminine, mm -hmm. and um, especially a lot of the... Uh, Italian Proseccos that are rosé Proseccos. I love those. Okay. And, I'm sorry. Well, well I was going to say that one of the things you told me earlier was that uh, you have to keep the store temperature controlled. I do. Uh, because of the chocolates. And accordingly, your hours reflect that need. Yeah. So, so what exactly are the days and the hours that you're open? Well, right now, I can't really open the curtains right now until 1 because it's so hot. You right. see Washington in August mm -hmm. that it just it's too hot. So right. once the sun moves, then I open up and then I stay into the cool of the evening, basically. So and then the days of the week that you're open? Thursday through Sunday. And from 1 till? 5. 5, till 5, 30, depending. Sometimes okay. it's very crowded, so we just... We just keep going. All right. And so for further information, we have a website, I'm sure. We are. We do. It's bubblesandchocolate.com. Okay. Wonderful. So, Karen, thank you for allowing us to visit your fantastic little shop here today. Thank you. And it's been an awful, awful pleasure. <laughs> an awful pleasure. I have to have a sample. Okay. we Will do.